Center to come from the Center will be the Center of the Universe. Yes. So let's keep, let's keep going. Okay. To a newly emerging pathogen, the search for a cure would be complicated, since its origins would likely be a mystery. So of course they'll need a pharmaceutical product supposedly to combat this disease, which is on, which is of unknown origin to this day, right? Starting to sound familiar. Does this sound familiar to what's been going on? Yes. And what has ripped the media for, I don't know, the last... News ...that show us this. Well, Redacted Correspondent Dan Cohen found one, kind of accidentally, uh, and he's here to tell us all about it. So first of all, Dan, how did you find this? And take us through it, because it's quite shocking. I was doing research for a piece I'm working on about the lab origin theory, which I think fundamentally is some kind of psyop. But I came across this video that we are going to watch, which really adds another piece of evidence to the body of evidence, I would say. It shows that the COVID-19 response was planned out ahead of time, and uh, we basically lived a, a premeditated plan. So everyone, of course, remembers Event 201. That's well known. The simulation of a pandemic held by John Hopkins University, World Economic Forum, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. That showed how a response to a supposed pandemic was gamed out, and then months later came to fruition. Well, so I've covered, uncovered this video from the Council on Foreign Relations from June of 2019. Remember the the uh, the John Hopkins University, the Event 201 piece was from October 2019. So this one actually predate, is it, uh, what, four months? So this is from the Council on Foreign Relations from June 2019. Before we start, understand that the Council on for Foreign Relations, or CFR, is the single most prestigious and influential Washington think tank. So the fact that this video was published by the CFR speaks volumes and its, its corporate members who it represents are all the usual suspects, the mega corporate entities that are basically more powerful than many countries. So it's a representation of this supranational elite, BlackRock, Bank of America, Apple, Google, Meta, Facebook, Goldman Sachs, I mean, it's huge. Uh, Pfizer is on the list. It has a, a massive donor list of billionaire... Foundation, among many, many others. So let's go ahead and uh, watch this video from, again, June 2019, before the so-called COVID-19 pandemic began. It's called, first it's titled, What does the Apocalypse can Teach Us About Pandemic? And the description reads, what would happen if one day the dead rose up, hungry for human flesh and brain? This scenario has played out in movies and books for decades, but science fiction fans aren't the only ones giving some thought to the zombie apocalypse. The CDC, major universities, and even the Department of De Defense have plans for the day that dead rise. Not because they expect it, but because universities and even the Department of De Defense have the day the dead rise. Not because they expect it, but because it serves as a useful intellectual exercise for infectious disease and foreign policy. Although international protocols exist to prevent the rapid spread of disease, each country's individual policies, infrastructure, and interests ultimately decide the course of any outbreak, including some. So, CFR, CDC, Pentagon, and whichever universities they're referring to were not planning for a viral pandemic per se, they were planning a real military response for a fictional threat of a zombie apocalypse or. Uh, Fix 
additional threat of a zombie apocalypse or uh, in order to make people think that uh, a virus would be equal to a zombie apocalypse. So let's let's get started with the video. Okay. Zombies, the flesh-eating, brain-hungry monsters that ravenously attack the world until everyone is infected. Zombies, the flesh-eating, brain-hungry monsters that ravenously attack the world until everyone is infected. Could such a frightening science fiction disaster actually happen? As far-fetched as it seems, According to what we know from lore and canon, zombieism would work the same way as infectious diseases like SARS, Ebola, and the flu. Once a person gets infected, they pass it from person to person via close contact. So they're comparing SARS, Ebola, and the flu with zombieism. First of all, those are all very different viruses. Flu is a seasonal respiratory virus that everyone has had many times, and the treatment. influential watch 
fucking think tank. So the fact that this video was published by the CFR speaks volumes, and its its corporate members would represent are all the usual suspects, the mega corporate entities. They're basically more powerful than many countries, so it's a representation of this supranational elite: BlackRock, Bank of America, Apple, Google, Meta, Facebook, Goldman Sachs. I mean, it's huge. Uh, Pfizer is on the list. It has a massive donor list of billionaires. So let's go ahead and uh, watch this video from, again, June 2019, before the so-called COVID-19 pandemic began. It's called, first, it's titled, What does the Apocalypse Teach Us About Pandemic? And the description reads, What would happen if one day the dead rose up, hungry for human flesh and brain? This scenario has played out in movies and books for decades, but science fiction fans aren't the only ones giving some thought to the zombie apocalypse. The CDC, major universities, and even the Department of Defense have plans for the day the dead rise. Not because they expect it, but because universities Department of de Defense have plans for the day the dead rise. Not because they expect it, but because it serves as a useful intellectual exercise for infectious disease and foreign policy. Although international protocols exist to prevent the rapid spread of disease, each country's individual policies, infrastructure, and interests ultimately decide the course of any outbreak, including some. So, CFR, CDC, Pentagon, and whichever universities are referring to, we're not planning for a viral pandemic, per se. We're planning for real military response for a fictional threat of a zombie apocalypse, or... would be equal to a zombie apocalypse. So let's let's get started with the video. Okay. Zombies. The flesh eating, brain hungry monsters that ravenously attack the world until everyone is infected. 